uh, for the round table. Okay. And uh, I want to thank the colleagues from Megalo for this, I would say, extremely historic presentation <coughs> even, you know, it was very exactly how the development uh, took place, you know, concerning the evaluation of uh, different substances, which uh, actually is our main topic here, you know, that the new substances, and we see uh, in the end that this is not, not never really new substances, so, but it's a kind of changing uh, trends in, 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 in consumption. And uh, for our project, we also need the European perspective, and I think that what you just presented, the Hungarian perspective, is very special concerning um, these uh, uh, trends in the drug consumption. And uh, I think what was the uh, the main issue is that um, uh, a, a kind of new uh, system of consumption, you know, changed and developed in in, in, in very short time it was also a question of availability of drugs. So traditional drugs were changed to, to, to other drugs who also involved from a middle class into the marginalized uh, uh, group, which has a high vulnerability, vulnerability in the end, and the question is what we should discuss afterwards, which what is uh, our topic also, what, how, what does this mean for your work here, for uh, our topic today is the low threshold, the harm reduction, what did it mean for, for, the, for the strategies, you know, did this change at this time, uh, how did you react, we heard that there was a problem in the needle exchange program and the idea of the safe consumption rooms, which makes sense, and exist somewhere and somewhere not. So we should discuss also if what strategies on the harm reduction low threshold side are uh, applicable, uh, uh, relevant for, for this development. And so uh, this uh, should be uh, what we have to discuss. First, I would ask you, uh, because there was a lot of content, you know, also, and we saw there were two contents. One was this uh, idea of recreational drug uh, abuse, you know, where there was little idea of problem of addiction, and the other one was a changing, you know, uh, very harmful, you know, um, uh, self-destroying uh, uh, consumption of a very addicted group with different substances. So, just to begin, uh, please, uh, I would ask you to bring your comments to the Hungarian colleagues for this representation. Yes, who would give an input? Very interesting to reflect the society side as well, not only the people who are consuming, also the other side, because we saw um, how they are um, living there or consuming their drugs and what impact they have on the society, but not the other way around. And, um, also, the we saw very suffering people a lot of times who use drugs, and we saw where the suffering. And um, to me, it would be interesting what is the background of the people, because it's a very small amount of them, and what other people are also consuming these drugs, and what conditions are in society that these new drugs uh, rise and um, have been developing. Yeah. It would be a question for me. Thanks for the presentation, because uh, I put here very realistic, based uh, um, information. I think uh, in every count our countries, we have more of same the same reality, but here more impressive. Um, and um, the numbers that you can combine and what we see in the videos shows that. Uh, this is a real problem in our societies. And my question now is for treatment, uh, the, the treatment side, is how to deal with this new situation. Because for me, with this new, uh, new substances abuse or use, uh, the question is more we are in the level of the treatment, uh, medical treatment, not yet in the, uh, how we, in what concerns in Portugal, not uh, uh, the other level in uh, psychological treatment. So what kind of um, approaches we can do to treat better this, this kind of people? Uh, 
the social workers and with the others because they are so margani marginalized all the time who are using this new kind of drugs and here in Hungary now there are very little circle like I said because the, um, the net users the, um, the party users are not showing up in, in this level, like in our house. Yeah, I think the solution is to work together with psychologists, psy psychiatrists, and uh, social workers, mm -hmm. and take care about the mental health, and find out which kind of issues lead them there. So maybe from the childhood. This was all here in Budapest, as mm -hmm. I understood. Oh, it, it wasn't and also your organization, how, how it affected this. Yeah. Okay, uh, so uh, we haven't got the needle exchange, uh, so it wasn't our business. It was a business of another uh, NGO named mm -hmm. Blue Point Recovery. They had this uh, needle exchange in this district, and there was a few around Budapest, but now there are just two two of them. One is a mobile exchange. They are going with uh, buses to give needles to the people. And there is another in the Buddha side. So um, it, um, it wasn't our business. Uh, in our strategy, we try to uh, give some treatment to these people, but really we couldn't because um, they were so, I don't know how to how to do it. <coughs> they drop out. They just dropped out, so we couldn't do nothing really. Uh, there are some clients who are just coming to the house and uh, they spend uh, some time here in this house and we try to involve them to the house because in the streets and in the, in the society they are just <coughs> being trash. So the other people are looking to them like uh, trash you know in these days in these years but the government uh, wanted to just cleaning out from the district these people they were just uh, wanted to clean out the whole place because it wasn't very good to see in the streets these problems and did, did this how, how, what, what was the effect <coughs> Did the drug scene leave the, the, the public space and, and went back to the houses? Uh, Peter said, uh, like before, you know, the, the typical heroin uh, addict, you know, who, who would buy the drug, go home and inject at home and not 15 mm. times uh, in the park, you know, and, and maybe leave the needles there. So um, did, did this work? Did, did, did the public space uh, get, uh, you know, uh, yeah. did you get these people in another surrounding or, or how, how did so, it So, 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 because most of them became homeless mm -hmm. uh, and they were uh, moving to segregated uh, villages or segregated places like the Hirsch Street, what I mm -hmm. said. They just moved to junkie flats or they were just sitting at home if they had, maybe not, I don't know. They became homeless, usually. But they, they, they kind of gathered. It's like I remember once I was in Vancouver and where they had big the consumption rooms and around the consumption rooms there were only junkies living, you know, yeah. and people with dual diagnosis. And so this was a kind of part of a ghetto, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. which nobody would, would here want not, to live elsewhere to live. Did it develop similar? Or, or no, no, or no, no, no. It's forbidden <laughs> in Hungary. Mm -hmm. So. Everything which connected with drug using and which is connecting with uh, harm reduction is uh, forbidden. Mm -hmm. So the problem is that that uh, you have these buses with needle exchange, but the harm reduction approach now is is forbidden, and so yeah. so it's a problem more of uh, homeless care, you know, where yeah. people maybe are overburdened, you know, with yeah. with this situation yeah. because we heard about the aggression and. Yeah. The psychosis That's and true. this, yeah. Mm -hmm. and and uh, we took an um, article about that topic, if uh, you can remember, mm -hmm. on TPM uh, meeting, and it uh, was written that, yeah, uh, many homeless people has, uh, have this problem, and Utsa Front, and another um, uh, organization here in Bu Budapest who uh, are dealing with uh, homeless people, mm -hmm. uh, do uh, this.
is handling and uh, the connection uh, between organizations is very important because of this mm -hmm. situation. And uh, there was an other part of the user so who wasn't 18 at this age. So they had to live at home with the parents if they had. So maybe they are still living at home and uh, yeah, <coughs> not became homeless. But lots of them just growing, growing, growing. And after 18, they became homeless. And there are a few, we had a few addicts um, who were addicted to spice or um, to some kind of amphetamines. Um, and they, some of them, they also said it's, um, it's cheaper, it's, um, it's really easy available. You don't have to go to the, like the old drug scene, like, um, to buy your heroin, um, um, you just can order it um, legally. You can order it, um, and the postman is coming and delivering at home. So it's like ordering it at Amazon, mm -hmm. and it's it's cheaper, it's easier, available. And the problem we are facing in everyday work at um, at the therapy center is that we really feel helpless if we have um, the designer drugs, um, if, if our patients are using the designer drugs because we cannot um, check, um, they know we cannot check the drug urine and um, it's quite common in Germany to, to use the designer drugs <coughs> um, in jail and while you're doing your therapy. Mm. <coughs> I think it's the same in our rehab. Mm. Yes. Some of our patients, they never used to take um, chemical drugs before and they start in the rehab because we can't check it and they say before therapy and when I finish my therapy, I never want to use it. It's not good or too dangerous or something else, but now it's okay. <laughs> it's a... Cat and mouse spiel, cat and mouse yeah. game, a kind of. We are always the ones who are running behind them. They are yeah. always faster. They have more knowledge. There yeah. is always yeah. at least one expert, sometimes two. They know how to get it. They know how to use it, and they know how to spread it around. Mm. And what was also there um, in the video is that we, as therapists, quite often see that somehow the level of aggression is going up, that mm -hmm. it's getting really violent and this is a situation where we are aware there are some drugs in our um, therapy center. Mm -hmm. But we had sometimes a situation we knew from some patients, but the others are using it, but we can prove it. We could not mm -hmm. prove it. The urine was negative, there was mm -hmm. nothing inside. And I had twice a patient who said, what do you think? We bring something inside, you can check. We <laughs> <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> we know what is possible and we know what is not possible to check. But as you say, you know, which is interesting and I think also for our topic is uh, that um, for for not for the recreational scene because that's another thing. Yeah, but for this addicted population, you know, their first choice would not be designer drugs, but it's easy availability and it's mm -hmm. uh, s uh, less problems in checking or getting uh, problems in a treatment system or maybe uh, a, a justice system, and 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 that therefore. Um, there might be an increase uh, because of it's uh, just a simpler form of consumption and availability. Yeah. I also think in Germany um, there are less people who are just um, taking designer drugs. It's always in a combination. If I don't get my uh, THC, mm. I take uh, spice. Mm. So. Well, it was different in Hungary. Oh. They prefer to use designer drugs than the others. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. when it, uh, yes, they come or do we find them other? So, so the question is what, because in our project it's also an idea, how could we react and how could we react in this 
harm reduction idea and it's different groups you know <coughs> what do you think which which groups in the end could can we reach at all yes please yeah um i think we can uh reach party people for example with safer nightlife projects yeah. and a combination mm -hmm. from <coughs> oh, excuse me um um from harm reduction in combination with prevention strategies mm -hmm. um with info points uh, at the party at the uh, at the festivals and so we can get in contact with people they uh, want to use drugs but um, they aren't addicted yet yeah uh, they want to use drugs to uh, yeah get on the festival and, and uh, take turns and and get a positive energy from from the drug use and I think these people we can reach easily as can possible with info points at such parties. Yeah, yeah but I think it's very, um, very hard to find uh, the people who are very low on their life because they are not going to parties. <coughs> they are just using in their own, in their home. Yeah, or but in now the we're talking about the party. We're yeah, talking yeah, okay, about this group. Uh, this is now measures, uh, as you said, for this party uh, recreational <coughs> users, you know, yeah. and as I understood, you say you said that here are measures uh, for uh, saver uh, uh, nightlife and info points at at these parties. Uh, I mean, you mentioned this big Siget or Balaton festivals, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and the question is, uh, this this would be the, the <coughs> like main events in Europe, the Siget, you know, yeah. um, what what. Um, harm reduction or tr low threshold measures would be there and this would concern mainly this party people group you know so uh, what c could we s uh, say maybe Dirk you could take notes for, for